हे हाई एवरी वन गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू अर चैनल सो वी हैव बेसिकली क्रिएटेड दिस चैनल टू शेयर द इंटरव्यू एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ डिफरेंट पीपल लाइक इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट इवन यू कैन मेल अज मेल अस टू अर आई डी सो बेसिकली टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू शेयर द इंटरव्यू एक्सपीरियंस विद ए डी पी दिस दिस आर्टिकल इज कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटेड बाई वन ऑफ अवर सब्सक्राइबर अभिषेक सो आई हैव ऑलरेडी गॉन थ्रू दिस आर्टिकल सो बेसिकली इन दिस वीडियो like uh, like we are sharing his experience so he has attended the interview with adp hyderabad in which he has uh, he went to the like three rounds of interviews he have shared in which he have went, uh, in which he have shared the interview experience uh, related to java g2w angular rest it's a few db queries uh, and spring spring boot so let's start like basically so here is a quick introduction of himself like he was yeah, like his name is abhishek and he carry 5.2 years of experience in java j2w angular technologies recently he has attended an interview with adp in hyderabad thought it may be helpful to some of his like being also interview experience with adp okay, fine thank you abhishek for thank you for your contribution so let's directly start the interview like uh, so the round one so he says there was a written exam there were close to 25 objective questions on groups concepts or core java we can say and there were two coding questions out of which we need to answer one so basically uh, even i would like to join my interview experience with him also like yeah basically we, even when i when i have attended the interview with adp also even i have been called the similar type of questions like there was first one was a written exam so basically we will come like objective types of filling the blanks objective types of 25 bits and there there would be two questions out of which we need to answer one so the first question the coding question would be like find the highest number from the given array of numbers so basically they are testing here your coding skills how you will code how fast you can find it out the second highest number from the given array if there are duplicates how you will find it hence like that so the second question was finding the number of palindromes in the given string yeah this is one one of the one other question like uh, this, these are the two questions that will be there so you need to write it down the entire code logic without any syntax errors you have to write it down like uh, it, it should be like a production ready code you, if they run it that should compile and run the uh, provide uh, it would it should come up with a desired output so after completing the first written exam there was a long wait for the next round so he has qualified for round 1 so now uh, in this slide he is sharing the experience with round 2 the first question was to explain the logic that have written to find the second highest number there was a big discussion on this like why i have chosen this way and why not that and so on. so basically this is a obvious thing so if you have written anything definitely the interviewer would expect you to explain why we have taken such way of coding there are n number of ways you can to find out the second highest number why we have chosen this question this way or this method in this way to find the second highest number so there was a discussion on that and then he asked me to explain about the current roles and responsibility okay so he would have explained him like what all roles and responsibility he undertakes uh, then there was explain the internal implementation of hash map so basically this is one of the damn sure question for any like you may carry you may attend any interview you may carry how much uh, no matter how much amount of experience with you this is one of the damn sure questions like if you attend 10 interviews in nine interviews you will find this question like explain the internal implementation of hash map if you are not aware like if you want me to put some like basically it works on the principle of hashing uh, we generate a hash code we have we have a back ends we store the data into so that uh, whenever we get it we again calculate the hash code of the key then we run a equals whether if there are multiple objects residing in that bucket and like that like you have your own explanation of things then the other question was that explain the internal implementation of array range yeah this is one more question like basically we maintain the array of objects inside it so whenever we are filling it uh, it increases the size dynamically uh, you can have your own explanation on this like there was a question on how to reverse a linked list yeah even this question like to be frank uh, even i have encountered this question with one, one of the interviews i have given to gap the gap gap there i was asked to write this reverse a linked list so there is a good amount of logic you need to apply to reverse a linked list then there was a difference between there was a question like difference between hash set and tree set so so basically 
if I, if you see this top four three or four questions these are from collections they are uh, putting a light on the collection thing like how much amount of collections you uh, you you have the exposure on collections like because the collections are core part of java uh, whenever we go with the real time application lot like when you when we want to deal with the millions of record definitely collections provide handy methods with it so maybe the reason they have asked for it then there was a question on explain string constant pool okay and maybe there were the questions like how string content constant pool is maintained or how we uh, get that uh, string from the string constant pool when the object is created in string constant pool and all such things uh, okay. then he says this is still round one round two uh, this is spring boot application spring boot and spring boot uh, sorry spring and spring boot questions here so the first question is what are the annotations that i have used as part of spring or spring boot so basically there are n number of annotations in spring and spring boot so we need to give uh, like what all we have used and what all we know then the question was like what is spring boot what are the advantages of spring boot definitely and this is also one of the damn sure questions nowadays like what is spring boot why why the entire it industry is moving towards the spring boot if you are already using spring why we are moving it to spring boot what are the advantages that it is providing which spring couldn't provide and all such things we need to give a big list of explanation on this uh, like there was a question like can you write a sample spring boot application oh yeah okay fine like basically to write a spring boot application we need to have all the dependencies starter dependencies parent dependencies then the class we need to attend the main class we need to attend it with at the spring boot application oh yeah the next question is that like what is at the spring boot application basically this combination of three annotations at the red components can the configuration at the red enable configuration so combining all those three uh, Spring Boot has provided with this Ethernet Spring Boot application, uh, and this was not uh, part of the first release of Spring Boot. Uh, this came into like 1.2 or 1.3. I don't exactly remember the version. In that version, they have uh, released this annotation. So just to put on the light, I am explaining that. Then what is the version of Spring Boot we use? So I don't know, like what version he has used. Maybe the latest is 2 plus. Like in my application, we use 2.1. Don't know even is what they are using. Then there was a question from Spring. I believe that what is IOC inversion of control? Okay, basically the uh, the gunshot explanation is like now we are reversing the uh, what we say the strain or the pain which of creating objects and maintaining objects from ourselves to container. That is how like we earlier we used to write the code like using new operator we used to create then the garbage collection and all the stuff we have to take care now the spring container is taking care of all this thing so the name like inversion of control then there were few questions on bean scopes like if parent scope bean scope is prototype what is the default bean scope of a child we you know interesting so even though if i am aware if I'm not wrong on this, uh, the question like the, still the child bean scope would be singleton only. Mm, I'm not sure on that, but please uh, refer Google, J Google. Then oh Angular. So in the round two, he has encoded the Angular questions also. Like okay, the first question is like what is Angular and why there is a boom of it in IT industry what problems it is solving oh my god okay fine like basically from my point of view angular came into picture like uh, it is complete framework it, it follows it its own mvc pattern inside it uh, it, it is uh, like say, uh, basically it came into existence for single page applications like advantages uh, it has a huge libraries it has everything okay uh, like you can have your own answer on this uh, then then the, the question is like which version of angular you are using okay fine we if they ask me i would say we are using angular 6 version i don't know about abhishek's answer on this even uh, not provided any answer on this okay what is the latest version of angular in the market yeah latest version is angular 8 stable version is angular 8 in the market can you write a sample code from the scratch okay maybe they are expecting me to see the 
writing skills in angular basically from index.html our code flow starts then the component we have it the right component and all the required things inside it what are the disadvantages of angular oh my god oh sorry i missed there is one more question like how are you connecting to services okay maybe the like, how are you connecting to your rest services or uh, your apis using angular so the the um, this is basically done to the services code like uh, http component uh, we will have that and we'll by making use of post or put method or get method we'll connect to services then there are what are the disadvantages of angular oh, i when i am not aware of this like to be frank i always say let's find the advantages of angular okay fine if you could find it please be uh brush up those things what is the toughest challenge you faced in angular oh super they must have faced we all would have faced problems with angular whenever uh, if you are updating angular versions if you are using ng prime oh my god it it it, it kills you in my personal opinion i would say like then the browser issues browser compatible issues so oh my god this all kill you okay fine i don't know what challenges that this is a generic question not related to any part any way any individual anyone can find this question encounter this question so okay then rest okay here coming to rest like what is a restful web service or can you explain your understanding on restful web services okay super fine so we need to give our understandings of restful web services then the question came like what all http methods have you used explain in detail about every method oh my god so basically there are four uh, right now i'm getting four Put, post get delete and uh, there are six i believe so we need to give the explain detailed explanation about every method uh, okay then what is the difference between put and post oh my god so uh, put is the item potent method and post is not if i would like to explain this uh, like put will always produce the same result and post won't do that uh, this is a basic answer i would give uh, there were questions on return codes oh, okay maybe the http return codes is saying here like 200 500 300 400 codes fine uh, then he says with this i have completed my round two and after some wait i was called for one more technical round okay round three super so here we go round three questions with adb so the first question is first question itself made me nervous here oh my god why man as the interviewer asked me to write the code to implement ioc using core java oh super <laughs> fine very excellent question this so if you are aware of it like how you write you can do it oh abhishek then there was a question on how i have ca uh, catching in our on how i have catching in our or oh, maybe the question is like like how they have cash uh, used caching in their application oh, okay my mistake i have read it wrong like how caching is working in their application fine maybe they have used eh cache or in the angular version what cache they have used they need to you need we need to explain it so then there was a question like explain transaction management <coughs> how you used it in your application fine so basically the transaction management thing we can use a direct transactional annotation itself which will take care of itself or you need to uh, manually you can do that also so it's up to you how you want to answer this so then there was the other question is inside a bean class if i am creating a new object like test t equal to new test how will that object behave what is what is the what is his scope of the uh, what is the scope of the object okay fine so inside a bean a uh, bean we are directly creating object using the new world so the question is like what would be the scope of that newly created object the object that is created with the new new keyword fine thank you so the other question is there was a question on my project flow like from ui to side oh maybe the architectural flow like complete flow of his project like from how the ui is connecting to services how the connecting us sir how the kind of services are getting connected to db and back maybe like db to services and to ui so 
there was there is one more question like what is the difference between angular and react oh my god okay so basic difference is react is not a framework angular is a framework react is a library so even i am not aware of react much so the basic difference is this then asked me to write a query to find the second highest salary okay maybe the db skills he is checking here so maybe he has written or not it's up to him then uh, these were the questions that i went out so so this is the end uh, of the questions uh, these were the questions that i went out in my interview after the second round i was asked to leave for the day which is a soft way of rejection maybe he was not selected in the round two oh okay hard luck abhishek rejections are part of your career no problem so my suggestion is be confident even if you don't know the answer i think i lost the interview when i became nervous it's okay nobody knows everything yeah maybe the ioc question is referring here uh, this one like like first question in the round 3 like explain the uh, how you implemented in, to implement ioc using core java maybe he is thinking of this uh, fine okay so here comes the end of the interview questions with adp so hope you people liked it please if you think uh, if you want to share it even you can share it uh, you can just uh, write us at our email you can post your questions or you can give us the feedback of this uh, video how it is how can we improve more how how can it be it be more useful to others and if you like it please do subscribe our channel so chalo for now bye that's the end of the video thank you